back once again to the channel. Today we're back for another episode of the Minimize with Mel series. We're going to be doing some technology and games and DVDs and stuff like that. So as I've kind of done a clear out already before I moved into the flat, I actually don't have well, what I feel is a huge amount like compared to what I used to have. Like I'll show you in a second, there's a shelf above this of like more DVDs. Over here is box sets and then this side is kind of more Blu-rays, DVDs and on here is like games and stuff like that. Whenever I worked at GameStop I used to be like DVD obsessed and in my old bedroom I literally had like walls and walls and walls of piles of DVDs. Like if I wanted to get one out I had to kind of like pull it out and hope that the whole pile didn't fall down on top of me. So it was pretty pretty bad but now it's not so much. Now if you have a lot of technology or a lot of DVDs and stuff that you want to sift through I do recommend bringing everything out because you're going to find that there's like wires you don't need, controllers you don't need, like bits, bobs, things like that. Because I don't have a lot and because it's so easy to view and see I'm just kind of going to go through it like this but if you do have a lot I still recommend getting everything out and sifting through it all because you'll start to realise how much you have which I've just kind of done that already. So what I'm going to do is kind of like Go along i've got a little step ladder here i'm gonna kind of go through every single thing and just look see if i really want it or not i already know because i have an xbox one and a ps4 and a switch i i have my old 360 and i just don't use it it's been sitting gathering dust for like a significant period of time now without being played at all so i still have other retro consoles that i would play more like i think there's actually a dreamcast sitting down there that I would still play more and like stuff like that I am keeping. See once you get into the way of kind of like minimizing and downsizing things become a lot easier to to get rid of and you realize kind of the things that are important and that you want to keep and those things kind of come a little bit easier as you do it so like in my head I already know right that Xbox is going but I have a couple of limited edition games and stuff that I know I'm going to want to keep so I have like this cool Fable 3 box thing which is behind me here you'll see that towards the end and um, I have Dark Souls 2 limited edition and I think a Mass Effect 2 limited edition so I've decided I'm going to keep those but pretty much everything else can go so like always we'll do kind of like a before and after I'll give you a proper scan here of what everything looks like and then what it looks like at the end I'll have a little bit of the process of me kind of going through everything show you what I'm getting rid of so I'm going to trade in a lot of that stuff today and I'll come back and let you guys know how much I got for everything which should be pretty interesting so as you know this is the third episode of the Minimize with Mel series there's going to be a lot more of these as well as some more budgeting tips and advice videos and different bits of bobs if you don't want to miss that don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to hit the little notification bell beside it too because it'll let you know when I upload so you don't miss out on anything and if you give the video a thumbs up it lets me know kind of what you guys are liking at the minute if you're enjoying this type of video so if you do that it really really helps me and the channel out an awful lot so with that being said I'm gonna get up on my step ladder I'm gonna move you guys back a little bit so you can get a bit more of a view and we'll go through this collection <music> Purge, so I've, I think I've made good progress already. So, I'm gonna continue. So, we're done. That honestly really didn't take me all that long. Like I said, I'll come back later and let you know how much I get for everything, but I'm gonna actually show you. All the stuff that I've pulled off the shelves that is ready to go and trade in now. So this is the pile of stuff that I have to trade in. As I said, I'll be back at the end of the video to finish off and let you guys know how much I got for this stuff. It might not be a lot because you know it's an old console. Some DVD, CDs, I mean they're not really worth that much anymore and either some of the 360 games, but I'll come back and let you guys know anyway. And this is how the shelves are looking now. Nice. So we've got a lot more space it looks a whole lot better i think like it might look like there's actually more but it's because if you remember before these uh box sets were all kind of piled up on top of each other but because i got rid of so many i thought i could spread them out make them easier to get to and get at um dvds i still it still might seem like i have a few but a lot of these are actually like collections like i have like a little disney collection and a studio ghibli collection I just don't really want to part with those, I'm going to keep those around. Not that many box sets, because I read of all the 360 games, those are the special editions that I was telling you about over there on the right hand side, so I've decided to keep those. And those are all the games that I got left. So I'm going to go trade in the stuff now and I'll see you guys when I've done that. So I'm 
I'm pretty happy because in the end, whatever I traded that stuff in, I got 98 pounds 30 for it. I will pop up a little picture magically here for you so that you can see exactly the amount. So that's basically a hundred quid's worth of stuff that was just sitting on my shelves, gathering dust, not doing anything but that stuff was worth something and it means that I can put that money towards games and stuff that I can buy in the future. And I could have sold that stuff for cash but you get a little bit less whenever you're trading games for that. For me it definitely is more of a benefit to get it in credit because I am a gamer I'm gonna buy more games and consoles and things like that but at least now I have money to put towards those things rather than just using money from my own pocket. So let me know in the comments below if you've had any good trade-ins recently or you've sold anything that's got a little bit of cash in your pocket. It might just be a little bit more inspiring for other people to realize that a lot of the stuff that's just sitting on your shelves is actually worth money and will actually be of benefit to you rather than just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. Thank you guys so much again for watching. At the minute, I'm trying to upload videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell too so that you don't miss out on those. And if you give this video a thumbs up, let me know if you're enjoying this series. I'm really, really enjoying film the series I'm thinking next of maybe going through my book collection I don't know let me know in the comments I think I'm feeling it's time to do books but regardless I will see you on the next upload thanks again bye I'll raise a glass to you and you'll raise a glass to me